Big time NFL executives came from far and wide to get a closer look at draft prospects like Baker Mayfield, Mark Andrews, and Orlando Brown Jr. But they got a pleasant surprise from some previously overlooked Sooners. Oklahoma hosted its 2018 Pro Day in the Siegfried Strength and Conditioning Center, the brand new building filled with officials from every NFL team to check out the OU DNA of 19 former Sooners to gauge their professional potential. The Cincinnati Bengals head coach Marvin Lewis was in attendance, as well as the New York Jets general manager Mike McCagnin. It was the Denver Broncos who sent a league high of seven representatives, including their head coach Vance Joseph, Gary Kubiak, and general manager your football legend John Elway. What's it like having John Elway watch you throw? Uh, pretty surreal. Never would have thought that was going to be a thing. <laughs> because Mayfield, Andrews, and Dimitri Flowers already made debuts at the NFL Combine, they skipped workouts, waiting to participate in the position session. But Orlando Brown Jr. came out to redeem his poor showing at the Combine, and he bounced back, improving in every category. Just my mentality. You know, it was, uh, you know, I, I just told myself no matter what happens, I'm going to go. And, you know, I'm not a person that gets down on myself like I did at the Combine. Uh, I'm a person that perseveres, and, uh, you know, I think I showed that today. But it was some unexpected Sooners who made waves on the stat sheet that day. Guys like Jeff Bidette and Devontae Lampkin, among others, showed that just because they didn't get an invite to the Combine doesn't mean they should be overlooked. They showed out in front of coaches, scouts, and former players, all with the help of their Sooner family. Bidette's unofficial 40 time of 4.27 was better than any official time at this year's Combine. Lampkin owned the bench press with 32 reps of 2.25. And Stephen Parker and Jordan Smallwood were solid with good numbers across the board. Uh, there's no, there's no reason to be down. Uh, you know, I, I looked at everything as just a positive outlook. You know, I didn't get the combine advice, so that's more time for me to go out, go ahead and train, get my technique right, and making sure I'm ready to go for pro days. It can be assumed that it was the Heisman winner who drew in most of the attention, as usual. In position workouts, he held it down, having 70 pass attempts, 62 of which were completions, only seven uncatchables, and one drop pass. You know, I feel like I put myself in a good spot here to, you know, be considered the best quarterback in the draft. Uh, no matter the height question or the people, you know, question the character, I think of, you know, these meetings have been great for me. So I put myself in a good spot and it's kind of interesting to think about, you know, before the season they had me at a third to fourth round grade uh, and, and now it's uh, improved a little bit. All the speculation and angst will come to an end later this month. The highly awaited NFL draft takes place April 26th through 28th. The futures of these Sooners are now out of their hands. Tori Johnson, Sooner Sports Pad.